All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say call Lame La to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. All right, and of course, I say in Shirt Shalom to Yankim out there that's pushed in his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so right here, what you see is, you know, is a chariot. All right. And it actually was outside my window. Okay. And, um, basically, this video is going to be a, a quick testimony video, you know, and the chariot I seen outside my window. All right. And, um, yeah, man, you know, I was, uh, I was heading out, you know, to go to run some, a uh, couple errands, you know, and, um, before I went downstairs to get out the door, there was something told me to look right and look straight ahead and boom, I seen a chariot. Okay. You know, when um the first thing I thought, you know, because I wasn't too sure, I you know I figured it was like a, a um those like one of like one of those light towers, like those those signal towers, you know, that are that are out in the distance because you know the ones that um that uh shows the, the red light and on the top of the tower. I thought it was that at first, but I thought to myself, I'm like, man, like man, ain't no light towers out here where I where you know where I I live near or you no know, live at, you know, at least at least not, you know, what I know, you know, but um, yeah, man, I was like, man, that, that got to be a chariot, you know, so I took my phone and started recording, you know, uh, this little video, you know, it's, it's about 40 seconds, you know, when um, I zoomed in, you know, long behold, it was definitely a chariot because the chariot, it was, it was like shining red, you know what I mean, and, and you know, shades of red and, you know, uh, a little bit of orange or whatnot. You know, it was it was shining, man, you know, and um, it was so vivid. You know, nobody was out there. It was clear skies. You know, it was a it was nighttime. It was, it was very beautiful, you know, and, it, and uh, this video was actually a couple of days ago, you know, but it was in my spirit to do a video on it anyway. You know, I had to, you know, because we come into these times when, you know, more cherry sightings are going to be heightened, you know, because you got the Pentagon saying that the ufos are real things of that nature you know but this right here is an omen all right and the word omen it means basically it, it, the word omen basically means a sign a, a sign before things happen okay a, a, and uh, the chariot is a sign of things to come all right and what's to come all right the second coming of you shy man all right and, and what and what is tw and what did the other prophets hard deem this year to be 2021 okay the uh uh, the uh, the hastening of the day uh, the, the hastening of the day of Yahweh by Hashem how shot all right and that's and that's and, and that's what we hasten on to man the coming of our Lord and Savior Yahweh shot all right so this is the book of Acts um excuse me chapter one and um let me get to the point chapter one well start nine all right Acts one and nine it says and when he said, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right, and uh, that cloud talking about what a chariot. All right, it's not talking about the actual cloud. Okay, because the the, the chariots, man. Listen, listen. We we talk about you know heavily heavily technology. All right, the chariots can disguise can you know uh, disguise you know disguise themselves as clouds. You know, but the description right here in particular, all right, this was talking about actual so-called UFO, a chariot. Okay. And it says, and when he had spoken these things, while while they beheld, he was taken up, and that he is is, is how shy. And the cloud received him out of their sight. Okay. A, a chariot. Verse 10 it says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, you know, behold, two men stood by them and white in peril. And those two men that talk, are, you know, are, are, are angels, are holy angels of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right, so right here, the, the uh, Yahweh Shai disciples, okay, you know, they're they're in they're in they're baffled, you know, they're looking up, you know, they you know their uh, jaws dropping to the floor, man, you know, because right here it says steadfastly toward heaven, so they're looking up, you know, can you imagine, you know, a man that you know and love, you know, for you know a certain amount of time, you know, you you gain a relationship with him that out of nowhere. He get beamed up or, or so-called so-called abducted, man. You would, hey, you would go bananas. 
you know, and these men saw that. Okay, but guess what? It says, verse 11, it says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Who are the angels? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Okay, so and the angels are, the angels are telling Yahweh Shai disciples, hey, don't don't worry because the same way Yahweh Shai got beamed up, the same way he's gonna come back, and which is true because Yahweh Shai is gonna come back in, in the glory of of in the glory of Yahweh. All right, Yahweh Shai is gonna return in his father's glory. Okay. And actually, let's get that. Matthew 16 and verse 17. No, uh, it's like it, verse 27. Uh, and it says, for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father. All right. And the son of man is who? Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, shall come in the glory of his father. All right. With his angels. Okay. And that's what? Talking about coming through, you know, uh, through, uh, through the clouds with those, with those so-called UFOs, those chariots. All right, Yahweh Shai is gonna come back in the in the glory of Yahweh. All right, and, you know, and and, and uh, alter reality. Okay, just like the movie ID Four, you know, starring Will Smith. You know, the movie Independence Day is gonna be just like that. You know, but it's gonna be way more, you know, glorious, way more, you know, a uh, uh, heart trembling, way more scary. Okay, because the the day of the Lord is trouble and distress. All right, the day of the, of Yahweh Shai is, is gloominess and darkness. Okay, and it says um. Uh, Matthew 16, 27, for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Okay, but the point was, you know, when it says that Yahweh Shai, the son of man, is going to come back, you know, the, the, uh, 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 by the glory of his father, uh, through the glory of his father, okay, with, the, uh, uh, with his angels, okay? And that's the first thing I thought of when I seen that chariot, man, all right? And, 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 uh, and uh, Yahweh Shai returning, you know, back, you know, um, you know, making his, making his second return, you know, that coincides with what? Deliverance. OK, even though Yahweh Shai is going to come back, you know, and, de and destroy this place, but also he's going to uh, come back and uh, not only not only destroy it, but deliver his uh, his elect men. OK, because why? Because uh, it says that actually let's get that real quick. Matthew 24. And. um, uh, Verse. And what is it? Uh, Matthew 24 and verse. Uh, uh, 31. And it says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect. OK, and, and the elect is who? The elect is the uh, 12,000 men. OK, out of each of the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. All right, total time toil was what? 144. All right, it's going to be 144,000 men. Okay, that's going to be delivered. Okay, and then and then followed by the uh by the elect is going to be the the uh the multitude, okay? The uh and that's going to be uh, 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 uh men, women and children. You know, uh, uh fa families of the prophets and friends of the prophets. Okay, who who are also Israelites. Okay? And it says and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, meaning what deliverance, okay, his elect from the four corners, like a, from the four winds, okay, meaning, you know, from all, you know, of the uh, places of the earth, you know, because the elect, it's like because the uh, nation Israel, the curses, you know, they've been scattered, you know, and it says from one end of heaven to the other, okay, so the elect are going to get you know, delivered, okay, from everywhere, man. Okay, from, from, from all kinds of places. All right, and you go to the book of Isaiah, eleven. All right, verse eleven, real quickly. It says, "Um, and it shall come to pass in that day that, that the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai shall set His hand again the second time. Okay, the second time to recover the remnant of His people. Okay, and the first time was what during ancient Egypt. All right, during ancient Egypt, you know the Lord." You know, uh, the, the Lord delivered us, man. Okay, the, the Lord delivered all, uh, um, 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 all of Israel. Okay, but this time around, it's not, it's not gonna be all Israel. It's gonna be only the elect of the nation Israel. Okay, that's why it says the the the, uh, the the second time because that was the first Exodus, but this time around it's gonna be what the second Exodus, the second deliverance, and it says the second time to recover the remnant of His people. 
right? The remnant of his people, okay? And who was the Lord's people? The Israelites, man. The Israelites. That proves that a, a, a salvation is only for the nation of Israel, okay? <clears throat> so real quick, let's look at that word remnant. All right. So the so the word remnant, all right, I looked it up on Google. It says a small a small remaining quantity of something. All right, and what's that? A, a, a small remnant, okay? The elect, all right? And if you go down, it says remaining, okay? So the elect are going to be the ones that remain to be delivered, okay? That's why it says, I, I believe the book of Wisdom of Solomon says that few shall be saved, okay? Only few men, only few, you know, uh, 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 only elect men, the one third are going to be del uh, delivered, man, okay? Two thirds, you know, th th you know, they're gonna be uh, come back uh, through the loins of the elect, okay. But before that, they're gonna be destroyed, you know, by way of famine, by way of Esau, you know, by way of the sword, by way of, you know, thermonuclear destruction, okay. On this side, you know, they're gonna be good in the kingdom, but you know, on this side, you know, they're gonna get judged, okay. That's why Yahweh Shmuel Shai is gonna, you know, come back and deliver the remnant, okay, and you know, and uh, 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 uh recover. Okay, the, the remnant of his people the second time. Okay, back in Isaiah 11, verse 11, and it says, uh, uh, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. So you're going to so you're going to be having, you know, Israelites being, you know, being delivered from Assyria, from Egypt, from Cush, from Elam, even out there in uh, East India, you know, from everywhere, man. Okay. Because why? Because that's privacy, man. All right. Just the book of um Romans thirteen of verse eleven, and it says, "And and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, right, man? It's time to wake up, man. Okay, it's been time to wake up. Okay, because you got Jake out here just lollygagging, you know, putting off the day. You know, it's like you're just putting off the Lord day by day. That they will know that." Hey, shit's about to turn up soon, man. You know, because because you know because things are you know opening back up and whatnot, and things are seeming to be smooth like butter. But guess what? Things are gonna things are gonna get rough once again. All right, and once it get rough, it's, it's not gonna go back smooth again like right now. Peace and safety, man. But guess what? That peace and safety is gonna turn to what? Sudden destruction. Okay, call all your boss around side, man. Because you, you niggas deserve you niggas deserve judgment. All right, and you females are here too, man. Men and women. Okay. You people deserve a harsh judgment from Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. Because you got the prophets of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai out there, you know, defending the gospel and, and, and proclaiming the name of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai and their identity. But yet, you niggas don't want to take heed. But guess what? You're going to realize that prophets of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai were among you. Okay? But back to the point, Salakia, Romans 13 and verse 11, it says, And that known the time that now it, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Okay, right, man. Because why? Because we're living in the last days of the last days. Okay, and soon it's gonna be famine of the word, man. So, so right now you want you want to get it while it's hot. You want to get everything you can off this plate. And it says, for now it's our salvation never than when we believe, man. And just like the video I recorded, you know, hey, man, hey, call a by small shot, man. That was, you know, that's a sign, man. You got brothers, hey, man. Bro brothers have been seeing chariots, like you know, like. There's no tomorrow, man. Out there in Chicago, out there in Kansas City, everywhere, man. New York, okay. The Lord is showing the signs, man. You be having uh, 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 more blood moons, more uh, t more uh, 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 eclipses out here, man. All right, things things are things are increasing out here, man. The Lord is showing the signs, okay. And these are signs before the b before the return of Yahweh Shai, okay. Call all you about Shemal Shai, man. We about to go home, man. We about to go home, man. Man, you about to get out of this place, man. This place is... Oh, man, this place got to go, man. All right. I'm going to end off right here. Luke 21 and verse 28. I want to get to the point. You, you know, you, you know, and this is a fire chapter to read. And really, you, you can start at 25. But I'm going to get to the point for a time's sake and go to 28. And it says... um, And when the... It's like you look 21, 28, and it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, okay, then look up. So like I gotta start 25. So like I have to. I have to. Okay, St. Luke 21, 25, and it says, 
and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the distress it's like it and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and, and for looking the, after those things which are coming on the earth right so people are going to be uh having heart attacks man because the glory of Yahweh shy okay that very that very 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 horrific presence of the son of man okay people are going to be tripping out People are gonna be losing their fucking minds, man, because because when Yahweh Shai because because when Yahweh Shai returns, Yahweh Shai is gonna bend reality. He's, he's gonna alter the minds the minds of you simple people out here, man. All right, because people are gonna be thinking that it's gonna be a so, a so called alien abduction, and in which the word alien means foreigner. Okay, but guess what? That's gonna be the the return of Yahweh Shai and the and the, the hosts of heaven. Okay, and it says, uh, uh, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Uh, verse 27 and then shall they see the son of man you have a shy coming in a cloud because remember the, the book of acts the of uh, the acts 1 of verse 9 it says that it says that a cloud received him okay and just like the angel said the, the two angels said that how shy is going to come is going to come back in, his, in that same manner okay and it says and then shall they see the son of man you have a shy coming in a cloud coming back in a cloud a chariot with power and great glory all right Going back to Matthew, going back to Matthew sixteen, uh, what's that? Uh, Twenty seven, okay. It says that Yahweh is going to come back in, in, in the glory of his Father, okay. Coming back, uh, coming back in those chariots, all right. And it says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in, a, coming in a cloud with great, it's like a coming in a cloud with the power and great glory, okay. Verse twenty eight, and it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. And, and and that's true, man. You want to look up, man. And we look at and we look at every day, man. While you know, uh, while the world sleeps and look down at the cell phones, you know, us men of Yah Bashmal Shai, us prophets and servants, we look up towards the heavens, man. Because why? Because we know that our redemption draw off nigh. Okay. This place is done, man. Call like about Shmal Shai. And just like, you know, the, the video I, I walked out, you know. Well, it's like uh, uh, before I walked out the, the, uh, the door to go outside, I seen a chariot, man. So call like by Shemal Shad, man. I, you know, I looked up. Okay. The spirit said, hey, man, turn right and look, you know, and look forward. Look up, the, you know, uh, at the skies, man. All right. Yahweh Shad is about to come back, man. And that's prophecy. So that being said, I want to say call like La, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, by Hashem, and Lord as well, you, uh, you Ankim. All right, we're edified, okay, and and, and you and you uh you a few sisters were edified through the spirit and power of God by Shmuel Shai, and with that being said, shalom.